If you're moving to Nashville and I haven't told you about this, I'm so embarrassed. I am truly am embarrassed that I haven't told you about something that might even change your idea about moving to Tennessee. And I'm really actually kind of worried because I've helped so many people this year move to Nashville in the Nashville area, and I haven't told them about this. These things that might have changed their mind, and I hope they don't come back with me on my errors and omissions, but I have to let you know about some things that may change your mind completely about moving to Tennessee. Okay, thanks for sticking with me, and I, and I mean it. You can't say I haven't warned you now. I've got this dated. By the way, I want to thank you. I just saw today that we hit 2,000 subscribers here on the National Redefined Show. That makes me so happy. I had no idea when I got started whether people would find this uh, show of value, and I'm so appreciative that I have the great community that we do because we're having lots of good questions and good comments going on. And, and you've told me of different places you want me to go. So thank you so, so much. I appreciate that. Today, I'm going to share with you some of the weird things that are on our books. And, you know, people like to talk about Tennessee being part of the hills and the hillbillies. And I'll tell you a little secret. My maiden name was Hicks. So I'm one of five sisters. They used to call us always the Hicks from the Chicks. Well, no. Good grief. They used to call us the chicks. Wait, it is. The hicks from the sticks. That's what it was. They used to always call us the hicks from the sticks. Tennessee being the sticks. Well, some of these laws may make you realize why. You cannot sell hollow logs in Tennessee. So don't even try it. Don't think about it. Can't do it. You cannot carry a skunk over state borders. That's a huge no-no. First of all, who carries a skunk? And why would you put it in your car? And why would you take it over the state borders? Don't know, not gonna ask any questions. Although my son did used to have a nursery school teacher who said she loved the smell of skunk. Didn't ask any more questions there either. So ladies, in Oneida, Tennessee, it is technically considered illegal for a woman to call a man and ask him on a date. So if you're single, that may be a place you don't want to you don't want to go to because you can't call that guy who's cute at Walmart and ask him for a date. <laughs> Although this is kind of hard to gauge, which is the weirdest. The only animal it is legal to shoot out of your car window is a whale. You can do it. Go for it. Take a picture or it didn't happen. Hey guys, now you might want to know this or other girls. You can move in with your girlfriends, but not too many of them. When eight women live together, it's considered a brothel. So I don't really know how convents get away with it. Maybe there's a religious exemption. Don't know. <laughs> but find your six best friends not seven best friends, you might be having a brothel. Now, I quite like this one, although I didn't know it was the case, but spitting on the sidewalk in Lexington, Tennessee. I don't know about Lexington, Kentucky, by the way, but in Lexington, in Lexington, Tennessee, it's solidly illegal. Not sure why they use that word, but it was there on purpose. Uh-oh. It is a misdemeanor to tattoo a minor in Tennessee. Now this one actually might get some people charged. All right, now this is a very weird one. And actually, I, I can't even imagine that this was on the books 20, 30, 50 years ago. Uh, and I certainly can't imagine why it's still on the books because of all the weird stuff going on around the country. But holding hands is considered a gateway to sexual activity. So it is illegal on school grounds. So. You know, you see all the kids, they hug each other hello, they hug each other goodbye, they're holding hands. I mean, I thought that was the kumbaya, anything goes world that we're in now. Tennessee is still got on the books that there's no holding hands on school grounds. By the way, 
Tell me so far, which do you think is the strangest one? Or is there one of those that would say, okay, forget it. I'm not coming to Tennessee. <laughs> I'd love to know that before we finish this list. So you don't have time to stop at Walmart or you don't have time to stop at Whole Foods to grab some dinner that your wife asks you to do. It's okay in Tennessee if you want to stop and grab some roadkill that you see along the way. It is completely legal to pick up some roadkill on the way home and fry it up for supper. So see, that may be why some of our cost of food is less expensive than other areas. We got lots of rural areas and we got lots of roadkill. All right, we're almost to the end of this list and the best or the weirdest, you'd be the judge, but I think the weirdest is the last. So sharing your Netflix account password is illegal here in Tennessee. Don't pirate anyone's, don't share yours with your best friend. That one's illegal. Now, obviously, it's not an old law, so it's pretty new, but I cannot tell you, really, that it's enforced. That's up to you and your conscience. Next, you cannot buy a beer for an underage minor. Tennessee, the law is 21, and you do have to show your license. And, you know, I think of that what you will. That is the law, and it is enforced, actually. So don't buy a kid a beer. It's enforceable. It's a law. Okay, so with the second to last one, you may say, oh, you Tennesseans, y'all are such killjoys. And actually, if you have a Tesla, I don't know how this would go by. But number two, you may not sleep and drive through the state of Tennessee. Can't do it. Not legal. So you Tesla owners, uh, the self-driving cars, I first of all, that seems really creepy to me. So you can't do it here in Tennessee, but uh, you know that may be a problem for you. If you're thinking of moving to Tennessee and you have a Tesla, or you're thinking of moving to Tennessee and buying a Tesla, you might want to check into that law. Fair warned. I warned you. You may not, under any circumstances, lasso a fish. Can't do it. Not here. Serious. So admittedly, most of these Tennessee laws are very old and out of date and probably not enforced, but they are still on the books. Who knew Tennessee had something against skunks and whales? Huh. Which do you think is going to be the hardest of those lists for you to obey? <laughs> I was just in that room with Parks Properties. I hope you enjoyed this silly, silly list. I invite you to go ahead and subscribe to this channel if you want some real information that will be of value to you. There's Check out some of these videos. There's lots for you to check into. Meanwhile, thanks so much for my subscribers. Thank you for your good questions. This was precipitated by a question asking, how long does someone need to wait uh, and after becoming a Tennessee citizen and getting their driver's license to get their license to carry permit? And uh, that made me start thinking about all kinds of other laws that might be of interest to you. Till next time, be blessed. <laughs>